AABIP Video Educational Series Picked Out Chest Tube Insertion The kit used in this video is the Fullman Plural and Pneumopericardial Drain by Cook Medical. Before the procedure, we confirm the absence of lung sliding on lung ultrasound both in B mode and M mode. We clean the area with chlorhexidine and then we placed the fenestrated drape provided in the kit. Confirming the position by palpating the rib, we do a subcutaneous injection of lidocaine. We change to a longer needle to anesthetize the track over the lower rib. We advance and inject lidocaine until we see air bubbles confirming we have entered the pleural space. Using the introducer needle, we follow the same track until we enter the pleural space, again watching for air bubbles. The introducer needle is kept in place and the syringe is detached. The guide wire is passed through the introducer needle into the pleural space, and then the needle is retracted. We dilate the track with the provided dilator. The catheter is passed over the wire, making sure that the wire comes out on the other end of the drain before inserting it into the pleural cavity. Once the catheter is in, the wire is removed and a three-way stopcock is attached to the end of the catheter. We aspirate air from the pleural cavity using a 60 ml syringe. Then, to prevent dislodgement, we proceed to secure the drain to the chest wall with a simple suture. We place an adapter to connect to the drainage system and the drape is removed. The entry side is then covered with gauze, making sure the three-way stopcock is still accessible. The chest tube is connected to the drainage system and we finish by dressing the chest tube entry side with We also attach the drainage tube to the patient's body to prevent sudden movements and dislodgement. And finally, we secure the drainage connection with tape as well. 